he's very into the idea of eliminating uh, animals. Uh, so he was saying that if we if it didn't affect the ecosystem, he would just wipe out all animals. And so there just wouldn't be any animals any further, um, even though he also takes the stance that bringing um, something in with net pleasure um, would be good. That doesn't happen to be the case with wild animals. And an interesting thing. Well, what are your thoughts on that? If, if it did not affect the ecosystem, we could still have all the plants that we have. The world could be as beautiful as it is, and we could work towards an even more beautiful world. And then humans were just here trying to figure out um, the best way to be. Would you be in favor of this if, due to the fact that it's not causing animal suffering? It's just animals aren't going to keep existing? Um. <clears throat> My intuition would be that it's not, it would be very difficult or maybe not even possible um, to get to that point without causing suffering, which would probably go against my initial moral consideration. So you would have to artificially um, cause animals to stop reproducing or to kill them. So I think you'd have to negate some, you'd have to kill or do something to these organisms, which would be kind of suffering. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'd imagine. I, the the best example I could give of what it could look like would be like a tranquilizer dart that you shoot out of a gun yeah. that hopefully just to, to no. save on time that it would euthanize them. It would yeah. it would make them pass out and then never wake up. Yeah. And just imagine we had the right amount of people to go around doing this to um, yeah. to everything. Yeah. And, and you have to keep in mind the idea that it um, uh, that it would eliminate all of them and the ecosystem would be fine. Like, I'm, I don't know if I'm even in favor of this. I don't, I don't know how much I desire the idea of something not going extinct. When I hear about an animal going extinct, my personal passions, I love researching like dinosaurs and early humans, like Homo halibus and Homo erectus and all these different things. And I imagine like how cool would the world be if there was like a woolly mammoth or a woolly rhino, which a lot of people don't know about. Um, and so I'm all like, oh, I wish this thing didn't go extinct. But it's just like a, a curiosity of mine. Like this thing did exist and now it doesn't. So I'm interested. But yeah. I don't know morally if there's a reason to keep something from going extinct, especially if if we can't detect that we caused it. If something just naturally was going to go extinct without humans, like should we gather the last dozen of them and try to breed them to keep it from going extinct? Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I agree. I think if it's not down to our cause and it just goes extinct, I think that that's probably not immoral. Um, there's nothing we we have no duty to keep it alive, keep that species alive necessarily. Um, mm -hmm. uh, some species you're probably aware of, like pandas, are like notoriously bad at reproducing. So we're like on the <laughs> last leg of conservation, trying to. No, I think they're okay now, but there's, there's been lots of difficulties in getting to them to reproduce in, um, in captivity. Um, Interesting. So I, I, I like the fact that they help getting money, get in money for conservation, for example, but it seems like it's an uphill battle with some species. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't think we have a moral obligation necessarily to keep species alive if we're not causing them to go extinct. I think my argument would be that only in the cases where we are causing them to go extinct or we're actually intending them go extinct it feels like that would be immoral um uh yeah i guess is I, I i wouldn't know i think it would maybe if you could do it completely in a way that caused no suffering um and for wh whatever reason we weren't uh let's say it was a natural disaster and we saw hit the planet and all the other life apart from humans died um, and we just existed would that be better than the one currently I would say ultimately it would be neutral. Um, mm -hmm. The only concern I have with it is really our intention or effect on actually doing it. Um, creating mm. a system, I think. Um, yeah, it's difficult. I think in my mind, it's really difficult for me to weigh up like how as well, how much um, the experiences of animals weigh up against experiences of humans. Um, I know Carson, you've, spoken a lot about like if you were on a desert island and you had to feed your family and you had to feed yourself you would kill a chicken for example if that was the only thing around um mm. uh some people might not some vegans might not agree um like how many chickens is it okay to kill to feed yourself on that island um i don't know uh what the answer is for me um 
and I don't know if it would be better to have, or in my slightly more utilitarian system, to have millions more insects than there are humans experiencing at least something, rather than um, less humans, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know where I would draw the lines, because uh, it's really difficult to weigh up the experiences themselves. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know where I stand on it. That's gotcha. Cool. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question that's been uh, coming to mind while talking about um, wild animal suffering. Um, I'm going to try to narrow it down to uh, small numbers, but let's say um, there were 10 chickens in a certain area of land, uh, and these are 10 wild chickens and 10 wild foxes. And in this wild land, the foxes are going to want to eat the chickens. Chickens are going to probably suffer from their attempt to kill them. Um, and, or not just their attempt. Well, we can imagine some attempts that fail, and then there's even more suffering. Um, if you were able, let's say you had a big piece of land, and you could, uh, you had, it was fenced, and you could fence it in two sections, and you could go take these 10 chickens and these 10 foxes before uh, the foxes kill all the chickens, and then you, you put the chickens in half your land and the foxes in the other half of your land. Now, let's say you have two options. One is you could just euthanize all 20 of them. It is just the quickest painless death. Um, or the other option would be, and let's imagine this land is designed for their pleasure for both. So the chickens on their section, they're getting all the grass, all the sunshine. They also have shelter. The foxes, we can imagine that their fenced in area um, has like some trees and stuff if they, if they desire that. Um, now you can let the chickens live out as good of a life they can without any fear of being harmed by the foxes, aside from when the foxes need to eat, you, as humanely as possible, kill a chicken or two and, uh, and feed that to the foxes. And then you, you basically just keep doing this. So you, get, you let the chickens have the best life they can have, but instead of being killed by foxes where they suffer more, you, you do a more humane killing. Um, would you rather do that or just use, euthanize all of them um, in both cases, picking what would cause like less suffering? Super interesting. Um, are we assuming that none of this has any effect on anything else in the system, in the planetary system? It's just uh, like correct. Correct. Yeah, it's just a standalone thing. Um, and in case it helps you like picture it better, I, I I bring it up because I talk to a lot of people on about cats and like should we have domesticated pets that we have to raise and kill animals to feed them? And it's hard to imagine when you have like factory farming involved, but if you just took ten domesticated cats and ten domesticated chickens and you gave the chickens the greatest lives possible, and then you are feeding the cats the chickens instead of giving the cats like whatever comes out of stores that makes the cats unhealthy or whatever. Is it more moral? I guess a third option could be you could just kill the cats or in the, the one I gave you, you could kill the foxes and let the chickens live out their lives. Yeah. So, you, so you got humanely kill them all humanely kill the foxes and let the chickens live out their lives yeah. or humanely kill the chickens to feed to the foxes and let the foxes live out their lives. I don't even know where I would, how I would answer that. Um, mm -hmm. It seems to me all of them have slight issues with. I don't want to cause animal suffering, obviously. I don't want to. Um, for some, uh, the th sorry, what was the third option again? Um, you can kill all of the. Uh, so you could just kill the foxes, and the chickens could just live out their lives eating. Uh, let, let's imagine they didn't need insects or I, I think me and you both don't care about insects. So, um, <laughs> they could eat insects and whatever grass or whatever they eat. Um, but for the sake of, uh, fellow vegans listening that, um, do care about insects, let's just say the chickens are going to eat. Um, I don't know if they eat grass or grains or whatever. Um, so you kill the foxes humanely and then the chickens just have no pre have uh, no predators. So they just live out their lives. Um, you kill the chickens humanely as well. So it's a, the same sufferings happening there and they just happen to, the foxes are going to eat the corpses. The only difference is if you kill the foxes, the chickens aren't going to eat the fox corpses, but I don't really see a difference there. Um, it doesn't matter what happens after the death. The question is, is the death acceptable and is there suffering? 
And then the other option is to wipe them all out. I, yeah. I think um, realistically, you couldn't feed that. This is going to be a bit of a annoying answer, but um, you couldn't <laughs> feed foxes for that long on 10 chickens. So um, because the fox, because by killing the foxes, assuming that the experience, experiential value of the foxes and the chickens is equal, by killing mm -hmm. the foxes, the chickens get to live longer lives um, uh, and you're only killing 10 organisms. Whereas if you kill the 10 chickens and they have to feed the foxes, they don't live for as long, potentially, because they still have mm -hmm. to eat chickens, which you don't. You have to continuously cause more suffering by killing, killing more chickens. Yeah. Killing things okay. that higher up the food chain, I guess, re reduces the amount of suffering that happens in it. No, you're right. That ruins hypothetical. So let's say, uh, let's okay. say each okay. side is like ten acres, and you can let them keep multiplying. Breeding. So the yeah, so the chickens will keep. They'll make chicks and whatever. And in both cases, the fox have no. They're they're constantly fed, so they're not suffering. Like I, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but most animals in the wild, I think it's ninety five more than ninety five percent don't make it to adulthood, and the ones that do, there's some everything's just trying for survival. Now in this case, because we're talking about the idea of humans um, designing a way to um, to help wild animals, yeah. so if if we were to do something like this, and we were to f fence all the animals off, and then make both predators and prey not suffer, um, then in this case, the chickens, they would become food for the foxes, but like they could just keep breeding. Gotcha. Does it become neutral at that point? Um, or this is kind of where your, your thing comes in of if there are more things having pleasure, then that's good. Like uh, creating the 10 people on the island would be, it seems like if you what you care about is pleasure and having more of it, even if it weren't going to exist, then the chickens not having any predators and and breeding, you're just creating new chickens to have fun and look cute and do their thing, uh, which adds pleasure to us humans looking at cute chickens. Okay. Although I think we should only do it from uh, documentaries. I don't think we should have like zoos yeah. where they're kept in small cages or anything, but uh, they're cute nonetheless. And then the foxes will, um, imagining the perfect hypothetical, um, they wouldn't suffer either. Uh, they don't have any predators, but also they don't have to worry about food. Um, and so letting them continue to breed adds an element if you care about the pleasure of new ones. I, I don't personally care about the pleasure of new ones, but uh, how, how, do you, how do you compare those two things um, to the idea of wiping out one of the species. Is there a reason to have both versus just one? Um, reason to have both. In some ways, I kind of feel like it would be better to wipe out the foxes to some extent because because they're having to eat the chickens and they have to eat multiple chickens because they're part of the um, food chain. You're having to create, you're having to kill more chickens to do that so you're having to mm -hmm. cause more suffering to some extent if they're not going through any suffering you're still having to negate their rights uh, yeah let's imagine uh, there's a rights issue but let's imagine there's like a chip in their their brain somehow that we got in there without any pain at all and it's yeah. just a button makes them not exist anymore they're they're okay. just a corpse <laughs> now uh, all right well they're like they, they exist in the corpse sense but um the chip in their brain is not going to taste bad to the fox how about they they they're pre the bread to actually die after a couple of years and then we just feed their bodies to the boxes. Ooh, that changes it though. But no, I, I think that's good to look at it that way. But I think um, the, no, actually, no, genius. That's good. Um, not even just bread in that way. They just live naturally. We're letting them be yeah. in nature that's fenced off. But because of how we, we arrange it, we wait till they die of natural causes and then toss the body over. That changes it. Yeah. So if um, they died of natural causes in an order that made it so we could feed all the foxes would that then make it better to keep the foxes alive i think so yeah okay cool i like yeah. that i'm gonna ponder that more i um i've never gotten into that level of thinking on this so i'm gonna go back and watch this again and, and write something mm -hmm. on it 